It's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. Don't forget to check out w.gg and use the promo code SLEEPYBOYS for 10% off your order. You would not believe your eyes if I unzip my fucking fly <laughs> and slap my deck down on your desk because it fills the open air with stench from my pubic hair. <laughs> All right, let's do. Should we? Let's do squads, I guess. <laughs> Squad. Squall. Oh no. What? Okay, sorry. I'm relearning. Where are your fucking feet? Who? You. I'm a catfish. Oh, you're a catfish. Wait, turn. Give us a side profile. I'm turning right now. Oh, I can't see you turning. Shit. Let me see. It. <laughs> Give oh. us a side profile. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you know that doggy style is outlawed in Alabama? For why? Is it because you can't fuck family? No, it's because you're not supposed to turn your back on the family. <laughs> oh, that's the joke. I messed it up. <laughs> did you know that if you ever have sex with one of your guy, your 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 boys, it you're not legally allowed to take your 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 dick out of his butt. What? <laughs> Yeah, it's because you can't leave your friends behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's no wonder why Brandon's dick is still in your butt. That's why it's so long. I've just been clenching it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that dick's made three cross-country moves over the last five years. In the five years? In the past two days? Yeah, that too. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, we gotta make us look good. Don't, don't, let's not... Oh, I'm gonna fuck it all up. You've got more practice playing this right now than I do, so... <clears throat> I think she's gonna fuck it. Yeah, she's gonna fuck something. <laughs> and see, the best part is it's not sexual harassment, because it's consensual, and it's my girlfriend. Way. I wanna climb on this. Babe, did you hear what I when I was explaining what my costume is supposed to be? No. It's a broken condom. <laughs> I have a broken condom. <laughs> Such, I knew it wasn't a fake laugh, but it sounded like a fake laugh. <laughs> no, that's the best part. Is her fa her laughs sound like fake laughs? Oh god. Does that mean <clears throat> this whole time I just like sound like an incredible asshole to people? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Mark. You said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I, I fucked it. Ah, uh, no! I fucking almost did it! Why is this. Dude, this middle one here seems way no, faster than it, it is. No, it is. Well, this is. It, it doesn't usually spin. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does, but no, not that fast. No, it usually had, before it had the, uh, it had oh, the bars. Man. It had the bars mm. that would rotate, so we did not, sp I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> I put in all that effort. Wait. Oh, we've got some rando on our team. I didn't want a rando. Nice. There you go, Angel. Thank you. You did it. Oh. I don't think we made it. Did we, it says we made it in the top 50, we made it. Oh, we made it, yeah. Fucking, that's sexy. That is fucking tight. <laughs> like Key's gaping little anus. Uh, <laughs> then it's not tight if it's gaping. You know, you make a good point. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. I like, want a burger now. I do too, after talking about burgers, but... Babe made some delicious chicken that I'm gonna eat up as soon as we're done. It's not delicious. It's her or chicken? Yeah. Okay. Why can't I have both? I I didn't say you can't. Am I am I nibbling chicken skin or is that the clitoris? Who's to say? Would <laughs> 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 you like some gravy with that, or are you gonna supply your own? The fucking chicken pussy. Oh, I want some chicken pot pussy. <laughs> Get 
fuck out of my way, you little beans. I'm trying a new recipe for biscuits and gravy. I supply my baby gravy. Mm. Oh. Tender. Ow. Well, I should hope it's tender. It's a fucking liquid, babe. <laughs> No, I don't. I can come on command. No, there's gaps. Fuck. Oh fuck. Those are gaps indeed. <laughs> like my thigh gaps. <laughs> you bitch. You bitch. No, fuck me. Fuck. Babe, you ran me off into go. the thing. You're welcome. Oh no. You're welcome. Why'd you? You're welcome. That knocked us out. Mm. I would have made it. Our squad would have qualified. Uh, eh. Ruin our things. Living up to the dream. You know what? Fuck it. I tried being polite. I tried doing this the nice way. <laughs> We're going solos. What is it? I am. I am the destroyer of worlds. I am, whatever that fucking I am is. the becomer of destroy, the man of the world. Something like that. Sure. Ooh, I got some kudos. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna unlock the kitty cat hat. I am become death, destroyer of worlds. That's what it was. That's it. Yeah. I am become. <laughs> that's what a child says as they're drawing on their, their fucking Barbie doll. <laughs> I am become death, destroyer of you. Because... Because you touch yourself at night? Yeah. You know, I still haven't seen Barbie or Oppenheimer. I haven't seen both either. Actually, that's not true. I did see a picture of Oppenheimer in Jurassic Park. <laughs> yes, because that's... Yep, that totally counts. No, not the... Tell me what the... you're going to do for your birthday. What? Tell me what you're gonna oh, do yeah. For, for my birthday, we're going to go watch Jurassic Park 3D in theaters. Oh, yeah. nice. It's going to be in theaters at that time? Uh, yeah, we checked. It's going to be on... Th it's this Thursday, so we're going to we're gonna go check it out. Sweet. Oh, it's Thursday? I thought it was I'm sorry, Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> I want to put I on... I want this Chocobo costume. I want... Some Taco Bell too. I didn't say Taco Bell, but now I didn't want Taco Bell. I just want a Baja Blast. That's all I want. You have spicy Baja Blast. What? You have spicy Baja Blast I, in the fridge. I do. We got some of the uh, the hard <sighs> Baja Blasts for our uh, <sighs> concoction channel. I fucking hate you. They're not here in Texas. They're not? Mm-mm. Sucks to fucking suck, I guess. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'll my my I just bought a I just bought a new a new nickname for myself on here. What is, what it? is it? I'm gonna put it on right now. Where I is gotta it? look at you. What the fuck? I didn't know I can emote in here. In the uh screen. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? Baked bean. Baked bean? <laughs> you know what I noticed about these lily pads when you're looking at them? If you mm. look at the split part just right, it looks like a green pussy. Sure. You see you see what I'm saying? Um, no, but, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna deny it. Alright, when you're I'm bouncing- I'll you over it. When you're bouncing on the lily pads- You know, as you do when you bounce on the lily When you're looking at the very dark green part, it's got like a seam right in the middle, like pussy lips. What? <laughs> do you see know, it? Have Angel- Have Angel dye her pussy, see if, it's, see if it's the same. I actually did have a dream that she dyed her hair green the other night. After we got into a plane crash. It was a weird fucking dream. Fuck. It, I didn't like Did it very much. Did you have much. chocolate afterward? Every no. Before you went to sleep? No. Any kind of sugar? I mean, I we're Fuck. always eating sugar right before bed. No, well, I mean... Can you tell me that you're eating an angel, but I mean... Bro, got a question. Have you ever... 
Have you ever tried Tasty Cakes? Tasty Cakes. It's a, it, it's it's an Eastern Seaboard Fuck. thing. They're like little what Debbies. Do they look like? Uh, well, there's di they're like little Debbies or Hostess, how they've got like different kind of take kind of cakes. Uh, okay. But they have this one that it's a coffee cake, right? Like a All right, I'm not gonna make it. I think I'm gonna I fuck this on this one. You've got this. You're you're only there's only like there's 11 more spots for it. You got this. Um, so the one that I'm obsessed with is mm -hmm. it's uh, coffee cake with cream inside. Okay. Like, just like, you know, whatever kind of cream you want to say is inside of these kind of cakes. Um, right. But, like, you can only get them in, like, Philadelphia and, or, like, uh, Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And uh, okay. Angel, being the sweet, sweet asshole she is, she got me some for our anniversary. She got me two boxes of six packs, right? So there was six of them, or there were six packages with two cakes each, right? And I went through, I've already plowed through an entire box. Well, to be fair, I also have one still, though. Okay, so she had one, I had five. Babe, just go across the finish line, please. There you go. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, I plowed through, I plowed through, like, five of them yesterday. There was a period where I could feel my heartbeat in my throat. It was hot. Really? After treats like that? Yeah. Was it worth it? Did they taste just? As oh, good? it was so worth it. Nice. I haven't, I haven't had Tasty Cakes since like 2011, maybe 2012. Yeah, it would have been 2012 when I was at boot camp. Uh, so yeah, it's been oh. like a decade since I've had them, and they fucking, oh, they're so good. I'm glad they didn't did, change anything. Did Bree just it. wolf whistle at you when you burped? No. That's what. That's what it sounded like. It sounded like the she TV was. TV is also on in the living room. Oh. So she's watching Ryan Reynolds on TV then. No, because I would end the end playing with you and go watch it too. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. I don't blame you for that. Uh, but yeah, so uh we've been we've been rewatching or I should say we've been watching because we haven't we've never watched it all the way through, neither of us. Uh but we're watching mm -hmm. we're watching dr the original <laughs> Dragon Ball. Oh, we, right, right. Oh, actually, uh, off topic on that, when are we going to do the, like, commentate on... Uh, I don't know. The Mystery Science the Theater 3000? Or no, no, no. Oh, we're the doing the... Dragon Ball? No, that's a different thing. Yeah, there's just... Well, oh, we can do it here. Like, it doesn't even have to be on the, the, the podcast part, but, like, I was just re-watching the, the tournament saga. Like, mm -hmm. you know, story-wise, it, it makes, like, the whole thing about Roshi, like, oh, yeah, I'm competing... To humble my students, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, narratively speaking, like, as a writer, because, like, you know, this is the kind of shit that I see when I watch stuff. Um, Akira Toriyama choosing to have Master Roshi participate was fucking brilliant for multiple reasons. Primarily because, you know, with Roshi, like, it keeps the characters humble, right? Mm -hmm. But you'll, if you'll remember, Goku only lost. I lost. Fuck. All three of yeah, us lost. Awesome. Uh, Goku only lost the tournament because Master Roshi blew up the fucking moon. Which shows that shows a couple of things. One, Master Roshi is stronger than the two people, Krillin and Yamcha, that Goku views as his equals, right? Right. But it also shows that Goku at full power is more powerful than Master Roshi is. And he doesn't even realize it up at, or at that point. Like, to me, that's such wonderfully crafted writing and and it, it makes me sad how so so rarely does that happen properly anymore hmm. okay so yes jose the picture you just sent of the tasty cakes that is one kind of tasty cake okay because i remember seeing them here in texas yes they did have them in texas very briefly i remember that mm -hmm. but uh um, this was like when i was younger though yeah it was like when i was in like high school But yeah, they're basically only in like Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Anyway, but yeah, so so just rewatching that story, like I was blown away at how well it was written, just because it's like, first of all, you know, Akira Toriyama, it's it's been basically proven that he wrote the the entire manga as he went along. Like there was no set plan starting out, right? Okay, I didn't so, know that. So, like, Akira Toriyama did not know that, that Goku was an alien until they got to the Saiyan Saga. 
Like all of the oh, like, wow. there there was no like like f like distant future planning. It was all like kind of seat of the pants. Like like the Android Saga when like he introduced like six different androids all one after another. Originally, it was supposed to be seven or uh, eighteen or nineteen and twenty were supposed to be the androids. That was it. And then their publishers were like, no, nah, it's the, they're not scary enough. So that's when he introduced seventeen and eighteen. Mm -hmm. So and then when they were like, you know, it still just doesn't feel like it's a big enough threat. Then he came up with the idea of cell. So like all of these things were like very much in the moment stuff. And so seeing that he started off with such a strong like stance on like I want people to see just how strong Goku is compared to everybody else he's going up against. Because like you, we knew he was abnormally strong. But up until that point, we'd seen Krillin and Yamcha stay pretty close to even with them, right? Yeah. So just having him, like, completely crush up almost to the point where he won before he turned into a monkey. Like, that was pretty cool. And then, you know, the, the continuity of, like, every so often somebody checks in and it's like, Oh, it's, it's a good thing Roshi blew up the moon so we don't have to worry about... Goku turning into a giant monkey again. I always, <laughs> I always thought that was great. Oh, but yeah, we just, uh, we just re uh, watched the, uh, the Path to Power movie, which was like reimagining the Pilaf and Red Ribbon Army sagas. And I have to go back and rewatch all of them. It was, uh, it was an interesting one. It was done in the style of. It came out uh, during. When they were doing Dragon Ball GT, so it was more in the style of Dragon Ball GT. So it was really weird seeing. Oh, yeah, it was right. It was weird seeing Goku, like as kid Goku, looking like a beefcake, you know. Because in the in the original anime, he was super chubby, like not super chubby, but yeah. like he wasn't like fucking ripped he, like he, he was... is. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then you know, Bulma, they gave Bulma purple hair, which was what she was supposed to have in, according to the original manga. Fucking. Fucking. Uh, Fuck. I didn't make it. I did. You suck. I good know. Job. I'm sorry. You did good. Hey babe, so I was just, I was thinking about this while I was driving for, to, for work today. Yeah. What if your mom tries to give me the house for my birthday? A what? The house. No. Why do you think that? Her mom and uh, her mom's husband have been trying to convince us to move into their house for like since I moved here, basically, because um, they love me. They think I'm awesome, and they love Angel, and they think she's awesome. And so they'll repeatedly, like, whenever we go over to visit, they'll just kind of come over and like. So if you talk to Angel, what is it, you know? What's what? When when y'all moving in? And I was like, I don't have an answer for y'all right now. I'm sorry, uh -huh. um, but like I've uh, just been stressing because like. Angel doesn't want to move in there, which, you know, I don't, under I, I understand. Um, for, a, for a couple of reasons. You know, it's not just that she doesn't want to live next to her mom. That's, that's just one of the many reasons. The other reasons are like, you know, they're both smokers and their house smells like smoke. So we don't want to, you know, have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, but yeah, they try to, I think they see me as the weak, the weak link in this, in the, in the decision making, so they're trying to come after me for it. <laughs> and I'm like, look, you know, on paper it's not terrible. Like, they're literally it's offering to give us a house. Like, they're not yeah. like sign anything over. We don't have to do any of the tax stuff. But like, we live there for a, a pretty inexpensive amount. But at the same time, we we'd live like a stone's throw away from her mom because they have more, another house on the land that they live Ten on. Acres. It's a 10-acre plot of land. And, like, they're, they're, one of the things that they've thrown at me is, well, you know, when, when we die, all of this goes to Angel anyway, so you might as well just, like, get the ball rolling now. <laughs> I'm killing them. And I'm like... <laughs> I'm killing them. Here's, here's the fucked up thing. Okay, so, so her mom's husband's name is also Mark. So okay. since I've, you know, like, I've always... I, I don't know, actually, you might not know this. Um, I planned on changing my name to Cameron for a couple of years now. Which, okay. which everybody, all the sleep people, no, I say all of them. Jeff and Brandon are both very much against it. I don't know why. 
it's not really their decision to make. Um, so I've always gone by Cameron while I've lived here. Because I don't want to be associated with two terrible people that nobody wants to talk to. Um, m my dad being one and, and Angel's mom's husband being the other. Uh, so I just go by Cam, which is fine. I don't care. I don't like the name Mark anyway. Fuck me. I'm sorry. Um, that was a hard thing. Oh, y'all are still in? I was, yeah. I got eliminated. I just I'm died. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I, I just... Where was I going with this? I mean, also, Angel is absolutely terrified that I'm going to fuck her mom. It's her. It's her you have to be worried about. She keeps insisting that it's her that her mom's going to try and seduce me. And I'm like, babe, whether she tries to seduce me or not, I can say no. She can poison <laughs> you. Look, she at that point... She can drug you. She can get you a Bill Cosby drink. I would... Shit. That's not, that's not fucking at that point. So you're saying that you want to enjoy it. God damn it. Yeah, if I'm going to get fucked, I want to I wanna enjoy it. No, that just sounds... <laughs> oh, you. I thought you meant try fucking your mom tonight. I was like... I, I, you know, I've been thinking about maybe, but like, nah, I don't know. God damn it, Mark. I am not doing well. Eh. I don't... I think we might be done with Fall Guys as a series. Uh, I'm not doing well either. I was, I was telling Mark too, I was just gonna like full Kurt okay. Cobain. Paint the ceiling. I'm gonna full on Michelangelo. Paint dicks on I the ceiling. I don't know if she heard me. What? God. <laughs> what? <laughs> she has no idea what's going on. I'm just here. Oh. She's been... She's been on that devil's lettuce, if you know what I'm saying. Why are you getting lettuce from the devil? It's he sells cheaper. it dirt cheap. <laughs> oh. It's like 12 cents a pound. Uh. Whee! Well, damn. Tell him to hook me up with some gummies. Whee! No! Oh, this is dumb. Oh my god, so, so Jose. Speaking of, mm -hmm. of of Angel's mother's husband, the last time we went over there was for, uh, what was it, Memorial Day? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Babe? Yes. Uh, and he was like, hey, do you smoke? And I was like, oh, I mean, I haven't smoked in a couple years, but like, I used to. Oh, and no, he pulls. July 4th. Oh, it's July 4th. And he pulls out a joint, and I was like, oh, you mean smoke? Yeah, no, I do that. And he's like... Do you wanna do you wanna have a hit? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Let's let's do this. That was uh -huh. the strongest fucking weed I've ever had. <laughs> Jose, I don't know if you smoke or not. I don't. No judgment either uh, way. Do anything for me. I do do edibles though. I fuck sure. some edibles. Okay, yeah. So okay, I've I've had edibles. I've had I have had I've had I, I have I've had enough weed in my life that I know what my limits are, right? Um, I didn't realize how strong this weed was when I went into it, but he and I, I had probably a third of a joint, which is a lot of weed. Like, you're supposed to share joints with, like, two or three people, right? Three or four people. Right, right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm fucking, like, I'm hitting it, you know, not thinking anything of it, because I've had joints, you know, recent history, and, um, and then everything started going, like, diagonal. And I looked at Angel and I was like, babe, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. I think I might not make it home. Um, he said it was something like, what was it, like 25 grams? Uh, 20, 28? 20, 28% THC. To give you an idea, Damn. most most edibles are like 10. Yeah. This is so I've, I've, I've never been so baked in my life. It was absolutely terrifying and like you know we're having hot dogs and stuff i'm enjoying life i'm just eating hot dogs trying not to to die and angel is trying to cook fucking s'mores on the grill she's also a little high not as high as i am but she's mm -hmm. cooking angel she's cooking marshmallows on the fucking barbecue grill yeah, God, that sounds so fucking so fucking good yeah for sure but the marshmallows kept falling off the stick so what uh -huh. would happen is they would fall off the stick. I would grab them and eat them. Like, oh, God, we got to hide the evidence. But I was also eating the, the marshmallows off of the plate. So we ran out of marshmallows. And I looked at it and I was like, babe, 
Babe, we <laughs> we fucked up. <laughs> they're they're gonna know. <laughs> um, and then they're like, "Oh, it's time. We're gonna head out. Like, it's time to head out. We're gonna." On the way up, we're going to pick blueberries. And I was like, oh, fuck, I love blueberries. Hell yeah. So uh -huh. we're walking up the hill. It's like halfway up the hill back to their house. They've got a blueberry bush. And I'm like, fuck yeah. And so Angel and the kids start picking blueberries. And I'm just standing there watching. And then they hand me a Ziploc baggie and look up at me expectantly. And I was like, oh, guys, I'm not I'm not ready for this. I wasn't prepared for this kind of thing. What, what is it? So, I didn't know it was just an empty Ziploc. They wanted me to help k pick the blueberries. Oh, pick the blueberries. Which I was not mentally prepared for. So, uh, -huh. uh so I do, I, I do help. I, I you know, I, I get in there, I'm picking the berries and shit. And then, um, I look over at how quickly they're filling their bags. And then I look uh -huh. at my bag. They've probably got, you know, a couple dozen, maybe, of, uh, these berries put in their bags. And I look down, I have four in mine. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel like it's been hours? I, I felt like I'd been at it for, for like 20 minutes, and I've put four berries into my fucking baggie. And I'd been eating berries by the handful instead of putting them in the bag. <laughs> so, all in all, not a bad uh, not a bad experience for that. I was going to say, it sounds like a good night. I had a lot of fun eating those berries, I'll tell you what. I want more of that pie you made, but it's gone. Oh, I know, it was really good. So, Thankfully, we are going to my mom's tomorrow for late birthday. They're going to give me a fucking house, and I'm not going to be able to accept it. And they're going to get you stoned as shit so that you will accept it. <laughs> just, See, that's just the smart. Keep that, keep that energy up. When you go in there, just straight when they look at you, just go fuck yourself, and then you just walk away. <laughs> they here's the thing is 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 the, here's the thing is they had the conversation with me when I was sober and even when I was sober I was like man it's not a bad deal to get a house at such an e at such a low cost and then I was uh -huh. like and then I got high and I was like oh no they're gonna try again what did you do what have I done I haven't agreed to anything so there's that oh yeah. god damn it I this hate the bean hill oh, excuse me oh. Happy birthday, have a house, and some weed. And we'll just keep stocking you with weed if you just live here. Just live here with us, and we'll give you the weed. See, you're making it sound better. That's what they're going to do. I'm warning you. Don't fall for it. Hey, you don't want to pay rent to us? You don't You don't even have to keep a job, Cam. You can just You can just live here for free. Oh, is this the Sonic one? God, yeah. Okay. Now go up here. Good, good, good. Did I get him? Oh, bro, I'm big chilling. I'm big chilling. I'm big bing chilling. I'm chilling. Is that that meme with, uh... The, do you want to eat this? And they're like, no. Oh, yeah, oh, bing chilling, so bing chilling. Oh, okay. you just need four more. There's three. Ooh, Babe, are you I'm, out? Um, shit. You're not shit. I think you're cool, man. I think you're the shit. Nah, I'm shit. I'm gonna take a shit tonight. <laughs> Maybe even in the shower. <laughs> Just stomp it down the drain. And then you're a drain stomper. It's called waffle stomping, Jose. Alright, you know what? I don't know, okay? You should try oh, it. Cold. Honestly, if you want to. if you've ever got like pure liquid diarrheas. Just squat over that shower drain and just let it all out, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. And then just go get soft served afterward. Yeah, like that last that last apartment in Austin that I lived in before my my bitch of an ex left. Uh, we had a we had an extra you know bed and bathroom, so I would always shower in that bathroom when I was feeling sick because I could just squat over the fucking drain and just let it all flow out, man. I okay. finished first? Are you shitting me? No, I finished first. I got the, I got first, man, it said. Oh, well, this game's racist. I finished first. <laughs> Jose, I, Jose, I watched you finish. So that, Did you really? Yes, because I had finished already. Oh. I finished, and then I was watching you for like three minutes. Um... But yeah, to all our, our fans and listeners out there, if you've never tried shitting in the shower, 
life changing, man. Like I would rate it in the top five things I've experienced in my life. Just, just squatting down with your ass like three inches above the fucking shower floor, and just letting it all out. Also, the squatting is good for the. Release. The squatting helps clear out your colon yep. really well. That's why you always gotta get a squatty potty. I yeah. I. I love using a squatty potty. Balls. My ass is also so big that I can't use like toilet seats properly. Right, well. So I always, I usually have to lift the toilet seat when I shit. Oh, Jose, you're so close. I hope you make it. I hope you get first. God damn it. Fucking balls. I'm God. not gonna make it. Ooh, 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 maybe. I hate you. How close were you? I was really oh, close. Super close. God, that sucks, man. Hey, man, I'm proud of you because that means you got like third. Oh, yeah. it's Sun, it's Sun Wukong. It's the Monkey King. Mm. Nice. Monkey. Mm. Monkey. Monkey. You saved me. Why? Mm. Monkey. Monkey. 